Welcome, animal enthusiasts and curious minds alike, to a clash of the titans in the animal kingdom. Today, we're diving deep into the captivating world of equines as we pit two majestic creatures against each other. The classic symbol of grace and power, the horse, against the wild and enigmatic zebra. From their stunning coats to their unique behaviors, these creatures have fascinated us for centuries. But what sets them apart? And what surprising similarities do they share despite their distinct appearances? Get ready to embark on an adventure filled with facts, comparisons, and perhaps a few surprises along the way. Whether you're a horse lover, a zebra enthusiast, or simply curious about the intricacies of nature, this is a showdown you won't want to miss. So saddle up and join us as we explore the differences, similarities, and mysteries behind the age-old question, horse versus zebra, which reigns supreme in the animal kingdom. Let the battle begin. Number 1. Appearance Horses typically have solid colored coats, although there are some variations like spotted or dappled patterns. They have a more streamlined body with a flowing mane and tail. Zebras, on the other hand, are known for their distinctive black and white stripes. These stripes are unique to each individual zebra and serve as a form of camouflage in their natural habitat. Number 2. Domestication Horses have been domesticated for thousands of years and have been used for transportation, agriculture, sports and companionship. On the other hand, zebras have not been successfully domesticated to the same extent as horses. They have a more unpredictable temperament and are not as easily trainable. Number 3. Natural Habitat Horses are native to grassland habitats but have been introduced to various regions worldwide. They are adaptable to a range of environments, but thrive in areas with ample grazing land. On the other hand, zebras are primarily found in grasslands, savannas, and open woodlands of Africa. They are well adapted to these semi-arid environments, and often migrate in search of water and food. Number 4. Social Structure Horses typically live in small groups called herds, led by a dominant mare. The social hierarchy within the herd is maintained through displays of dominance and submission. On the other hand, zebras also form herds, typically consisting of a dominant stallion, several mares and their offspring. Within the herd, there is a similar hierarchy, with dominant individuals leading the group. Number 5. Population Horse populations vary widely depending on the breed and geographic location, with some breeds being abundant and others facing threats, such as overbreeding or habitat loss. The exact number of horses in the world is difficult to pinpoint, but estimates suggest there are around 60 million, combining both wild and domesticated horses. On the other hand, zebra populations are more limited, with some species experiencing declines due to habitat fragmentation and poaching. The total plains zebra population in the world is estimated to be somewhere between 660,000 and 1 million individuals, with the vast majority being plain zebras. However, it's important to note that this is an estimate and the actual number could be higher or lower. Here's a breakdown of the different zebra species. Grevy's zebra, listed as endangered, with a much smaller population of less than 2,000 mature individuals. The good news is their population appears to be stable. Mountain Zebra, considered vulnerable, with a population around 35,000 individuals. This number appears to be increasing. Number 6. Strength Horses are renowned for their strength, which has been harnessed for tasks such as plowing fields, pulling carts, and carrying riders over long distances. On the other hand, zebras also possess considerable strength, allowing them to defend against predators and traverse challenging terrain in their natural habitat. Number 7. Behavior Both horses and zebras are herbivores and spend much of their time grazing on grass and other vegetation. Horses are known for their docile nature, making them suitable for various activities with humans, such as riding and racing. On the other hand, zebras can be more aggressive and territorial, particularly during mating season. They are also known for their alarm calls and swift movements when threatened. Number 8. Diet 
Both horses and zebras are herbivores, primarily feeding on grasses and other vegetation. Their digestive systems are adapted to process large quantities of fibrous plant material efficiently. Number 9. Physical Characteristics Horses have a more slender build with longer legs, which allows them to run at high speeds for extended periods. On the other hand, zebras have a more compact build with shorter legs, but they are also well adapted for swift movement across the open plains. Number 10. Adaptations Horses have evolved to be fast runners, with strong muscles and hooves designed for endurance. They also have excellent peripheral vision, allowing them to detect predators from a distance. On the other hand, zebras have evolved their distinctive stripes, which provide camouflage by disrupting their outline in tall grasses. They also have keen senses and are highly alert to potential threats. Number 11. Reproduction. Both horses and zebras have similar reproductive strategies, with females giving birth to a single foal for a gestation period of around 11 months. Mares and female zebras typically care for their offspring, while stallions and male zebras may play a protective role within the herd. Number 12. Used by humans. Horses have been used by humans for a wide range of purposes, including transportation, agriculture, recreation, and therapy. On the other hand, zebras have not been domesticated to the same extent and are primarily observed in the wild. However, they have been used in limited capacities for transportation and as a novelty attraction in some areas. Number 13. Communication. Horses and zebras both communicate through a variety of vocalizations, body language, and facial expressions. Common communication behaviors include neighing, snorting, whinnying, and various postures to convey dominance, submission, or alarm. Number 14. Cultural significance. Horses hold significant cultural importance in various societies around the world, often symbolizing power, freedom, and companionship. They feature prominently in art, literature, and mythology. On the other hand, zebras also hold cultural significance in regions where they are native, often representing the wild and untamed aspects of nature. Number 15. Conservation status. While some horse breeds are abundant and not considered endangered, others, particularly wild horse populations, face threats such as habitat loss, competition with livestock, and genetic dilution. Several zebra species are listed as threatened or endangered due to habitat loss, poaching, and competition with livestock for resources. And finally, number 16 is speed. Horses are renowned for their speed and agility, with some breeds capable of reaching speeds exceeding 40 miles per hour in short bursts. On the other hand, zebras are also fast runners, with top speeds reaching around 40 miles per hour allowing them to evade predators, such as lions and hyenas. As we conclude our exploration of horse versus zebra, it's clear that both animals hold a special place in our hearts and the ecosystem. Whether it's the elegance of the horse or the striking patterns of the zebra, each has its own charm and significance. We hope you've enjoyed this journey through the world plains of comparison. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, keep exploring the wonders of the natural world.